Hello everybody, this is the video for, I don't know what week it is, week, I think 11, 12, uh, two weeks after spring break, let's say, let's put it that way. Um, hopefully if everybody's doing okay, hopefully everybody's uh, from back from spring break, hopefully your brains are back from spring break. Um, uh, there's a couple things I want to mention in this video. Um, one of which is uh, the end of chapter two material, or sorry, uh, the end of exam two material, exam two uh, as a thing, right? And then um, uh, the last bit of our class, the stuff that's gonna be on exam three. So uh, in the last couple of sections, um, what you guys uh, were covering was basically uh, chapter seven. So just keep in mind, we made a big jump in the book. Uh, we went from chapter three to chapter four to chapter seven, which is the last chapter in the book, okay? And chapter seven dealt with different representations um, of mathematical things, okay? Uh, and the two that we did was uh, parametric equations and uh, polar equations, right? Um, and so we did both of those, and then we did some calculus on them, right? Uh, that chapter, it's going to be uh, chapters three, four, and seven uh, are going to be the last chapters that you're going to be responsible for on exam two, okay? Which brings me to exam two. Uh, exam two, I put up uh, on Canvas yesterday. Um, just like exam one, there's going to be, um, uh, you guys do have a practice exam, right? <coughs> uh, treat it like a practice exam, right? Um, for every attempt, you have five attempts. Uh, sit down somewhere and actually go through the material, write down the, the you know, write down your work. Uh, make sure you justify everything just like you would on the test, okay? Um, so you get the practice in, all right? Um, it, uh, for, ex uh, for practice exam two, you don't need to show proof, right? And like I said, you have five, exam uh, five, uh, five uh, attempts, uh, the highest attempt sticks, okay? So uh, if you get, you know, an 80 out of 90 on the very first try and then you tank the last four, I don't know why you would tank the last four, but if you tank like the last four, uh, that 80 out of 90 will be the one that sticks, okay? Um, and uh, that is it for practice exam two. Uh, practice exam two, uh, I have it open all the way till Friday, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, okay? Um, whatever Canvas says, that's the, the thing that goes. So if I, I can't remember if I left it open till Friday or till Saturday. Um, exam two itself will open Friday, 12 a.m., and it'll close uh, Saturday, 12 p.m. So you got two days to take it, okay? Uh, again, the same thing as exam one, um, make sure you show your work, make sure you prove everything, make sure you uh, provide proper justification for everything, uh, make sure that the steps are all there, okay? It's better to put the steps down than to not put the steps at all. Um, and uh, you will have to turn in your proof of work, the write-up, you're going to have to turn that in uh uh, 15 minutes after the end of your exam, okay? And everything's timestamped, so I'll be able to know when um, you turn in things. Um, if you have to turn it in some other way, there is going to be an uh, exam to write up assignment where you get to take your picture and submit it to, um, uh, to the Canvas page. Uh, if that ends up not working at all, um, you can send it to my email, you can send it to my um, Canvas email, any which way you can to submit your work is fine with me, okay? Um, and uh, I think that's it. That's all I wanted to say for, for exam two, um, which now brings me to what comes after exam two, so stuff for exam three. Uh, the last two sections that were, or the last two chapters that we're going to do for the class is chapters five and six. Um, chapters five and six deals with uh, sequences and series. Essentially, um, sequences is basically explaining some sort of uh, pattern and determining if it uh, converges or uh, diverges, right? And uh, series is same thing, right? Uh, determining some form of pattern of a summation of stuff. Right, and determining if that converges or diverges, okay? Uh, I'm pretty sure nobody's gonna probably be doing that, uh, maybe not even until next week. Um, <coughs> but if you are, that's what you're, uh, you're going up against, right? So chapter five, 
deals with um, the sort of like basic and mid-level um, convergence, divergence rules, theorems for sequences and summations. Um, and uh, chapter six deals with uh, pretty heavy hitting, like bigger, bigger, bigger picture mathematics. Um, where we're going to end with Maclaurin series and uh, with Taylor series. Uh, both are pretty uh, important outcomes, uh, pretty important results in the study of higher math and in um, that, that produce pretty big conclusions uh, in the physical world. So when you go go and uh, do stuff in theoretical physics. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's what's going up. That's what's coming up uh, in the next couple weeks. Uh, I'll probably put out two more videos like this. Uh, before the semester is done, including one more for the exam three and the final, right? Um, so yeah, um, for anything, right? Um, uh, I do have my email. I've been pretty good at um, answering my email. Um, uh, you guys have your discussion posts, right? You can answer me there as well. Uh, I do have my office hours uh, that happen uh, Monday through Thursday around uh, 11.30, 11.45 to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and then I have my all-day Friday hours if you guys want to drop in there. Um, so, yeah. If there's any, any problems, any, 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 any problems, um, you know, drop me a line. Cool? Uh, besides that, I think I'm done with this video. If you guys have any questions on this video, uh, there is a right down there right down there. Um, this is sort of like a, a discussion post, so you can post stuff on there. Cool. And if, you know, don't, don't be shy. Uh, it might be a question that somebody else has as well. So, okay. Um, besides that, I think I'm done with this video. Uh, yeah. Happy studying.